Hi, how are you getting on? Right, okay, so this week's tip is about reading greens. Um, reading the greens is a, an art form, it comes from experience. And there are lots of different ways of maybe visualising. I learn, imagine if you dropped a bucket of water, which way would it run? Um, if you hit a putt, I always thought, if I, li if I hit a putt straight, where would it end up? Left or right of the hole? And that's how far I would aim to the left or the right. And that's worked for me for many, many years. But um, I now do a little bit of aim point, um, and we talk about drop points. Um, so I've got about a 12, maybe a 12, maybe 13 foot putt here. You'll see a dark circle, and that's about three foot from the hole. So two thirds of the way along, there's what we call a ghost hole. And I want to, my aim point is to try and get the ball to run over that. So two thirds of the way, I feel like it's going to be pretty straight. And then when the ball starts slowing down, it's when it falls the most. Okay, so it gives me a good idea of maybe looking at the last third of the putt to see how far it's going to fall. Um, you can look at degrees. I've got a spirit level and you can work out how many degrees of slope there is. But this is more visual for me and it will help you when you're looking at putting. So have a look at your putt. Have a look at what you think it does in the last third of the putt, because that's when the ball is going to move the most, because it's slowing down. Okay, so I'm going to hit this putt. My goal is to get obviously the right pace. I want it to roll over that ghost hole, and then I can visualise it falling into the hole. Okay, so all down to pace as well. But let's just give it a go. So I'm going to line myself up. I've got my blue line lined up to the left of the hole along the string line. I'll try and hit a putt, should go over the ghost hole and then fall into the hole. So it's gone over and there we go. Okay, it's like slightly pacey that, so I've just grabbed it at the very end. But it's a way of visualising the putt. Okay, so split your putts into three. The last third is where it's going to move the most. Obviously it varies on whether the slope is um, quite big or small, uh, etc. Whether there's a slope by the hole, but just break it down into two thirds, see what it's going to do on the last third. And then you can work backwards and figure out, well, how do I get it to the last third? And then it will fall from there. Okay. I hope that makes sense. Give it a go.